got a um, email and a phone call by the principal, uh, Mr. Cameron, regarding uh, having Lily out here and, and honoring her as the heroes among us. And I couldn't uh, let down that opportunity because the way he described it was it was going to be something for the student body uh, to teach uh, kindness and compassion, anti-bullying. We haven't done it at a school yet. This is our first kind of school uh, body type experience, but we've been to many uh, meet and greets, many um, outside gatherings, uh, the guest of honor, and many different uh, events, but not necessarily a uh, school yet. So they had a uh, a Cane's Crusade out in Springfield. We went to uh, Littleton Animal Hospital. They had an open house where she was the guest of honor. Animal Rescue League of Boston where she was the guest of honor for a um, an open house they had there. She probably has about 15 more in the next two months set up. She's got quite the uh, paparazzi chasing her around right how's now. She with, how's she deal with it? She's doing great. She really is. Before this happened, she was, I'd say she was, you know, 75% of the time with my mother. Wasn't really being brought out to super different places around groups of, you know, strangers. And in the past three months or so, she's, that I've like had her bringing her to all these things. She's just been, she's been amazing. She gets, you know, herself just, just super happy when there's groups of people cheering her on or groups of people like, or someone coming up to her and just talking in a, you know, goofy, high-pitched dog voice or kid voice to her. She just, she gets excited. She just wants to be loved. She wants to love back. And and the people that come up to her doing that, she just, oh, this is a good person. Let me, let me, let me, let me go, let me go win them over. When I first rescued her from Animal Rescue League of Boston, she had, uh, she had some signs of abuse, some signs of neglect, some signs of uh, some pretty bad cruelty. Uh, if you look at her side of her face here, she has. Uh, a, a scar from running the entire length of her face and that would you know she's got one there she's got one on top of her head and then on the other side on top of her head and what's more so troubling is on the other side of her face she has a, a slash mark which would only be caused by a human um, so that tells me the other side where you know she could have got caught on a fence or who knows how it could have happened it tells me that the other side isn't probably so innocent and that she probably didn't come from too good of a home before we got her. You know, in addition, she has um, some signs that she may have been overbred uh, before I got her. Not, she, she hasn't had, she haven't had, ever had any type of uh, training or obedience, just general things around the house. Um, you know, nothing, nothing uh, really organized or, you know, rather than just the stuff that you do around the house. And, uh, you know, pit bulls are just, super intelligent dogs, very smart, they're very in tune with you. Uh, their like, life's mission is just to make you happy. She knew, you know, it's big loud noise, there's a horn coming at us, there's a tracks, it usually runs this way. Instinctually she knew that she had to do something to free my mother from the tracks. But she, uh, she ended up getting her arm run over and then something hanging off the train must have hanging off the train um, caused quite a bit of trauma on the rear of her. That's you know that was all found out um, kind of step by step at the hospital. The future holds more uh, more events where Lily will be representing pit bulls and pit bull breed and more of the positive light, the true light of how they should be. Uh, unfortunately, the media uh, portrays them. Only the negative incidents, uh, by far, the negative incidents, which are, you know, a very small percentage. This is how they are. I mean, they're just super sweet, intelligent, loving. I mean, they're great family pets.